damn, this has definitely got to be my favorite episode of the season thus far. Up Wedding Nerdikins, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's South Park review is going to be for season 20, episode 5, Douche in a Danish and before I get into this review, I gotta say I am extremely sorry for this review being super, super late. The struggle has been over 9,000 at Struggle Apartment Studios and I really, I gotta say thank you so much for being patient. Um, but anyway, uh, also um, for my South Park reviews, unlike my Monka Nerdigan live reactions, I put a lot of work into my South Park reviews. And that's why, um, that's another reason why it's a little bit late as well. But anyway, let's get to the review itself. So, <laughs> I love how this episode starts when you have, you have the whole gender war still going on. And Butters has this tech out and he's fighting the girl and like the girls are about to want to kick his ass. And you have Heidi and Cartman. God, they are the cutest couple. I never thought I would say this. Cartman and Heidi are fucking cute as shit. And I love how Cartman is, <laughs> Cartman's like, I'm going to, we're going to, I'm going to stop the division in, in the school, in the school. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my God. I love it. I, I just love it. But, oh my God. That scene was cute. But let me get to the scene that really started it off for me. That was when um, Garrison is, this is right before Garrison goes on the speech, and I'm due to his speech, and I love that we got to see Caitlyn. Matt and Trey, why aren't you using more Caitlyn Jenner? I'm not happy we're not using a lot more Caitlyn Jenner, because um, especially with when you have Mike Pence going out to do damage control, I'm expecting this week, M Matt and Trey, you better be using a lot of Caitlyn Jenner this week. You, you guys better be doing that shit. I'm expecting it. But anyway, um, all the advisors are saying that Garrison needs to watch what he says about women because he's going down in the polls and um, especially um, with, wi uh, with women. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God. I know where this is going. <laughs> oh, God. I got to read what he says because it is so great. Because, oh, my God, and what he said was just epic. <laughs> Especially since this video is late. I, I got to read it. So I'm this is what Garrison said. Uh, of course, Christy introduces him. And he, sa and he says, he says what we're all thinking. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm standing in line at the airport waiting in security with all the freaking Muslims and the TSA security people all look like black thugs from the inner city and I'm like, oh good, you're going to protect us. No, maybe it's good they're all gang members, at least they can tell the difference between Muslims and Mexicans because God knows I can't. Oh my God, I was laughing, I was like, oh my God, Karen, oh my God. And like everyone's laughing, you know, all the Trump otakus are laughing. And then, um, and then he says, and, and I love that he's smoking a cigarette while he's doing this shit too. He says, you know, I'm standing there in line and you know what I do? I stick my finger in this chick's asshole. She turns to me and say, says, um, Hey, aren't you that guy that's running for president? I say, yeah. She says, why do you have your uh, finger in my ass? I said, <laughs> I said, I'm just keeping it warm, honey. Cause that chick next to you is way hotter and I've got to stick it in her clam. <laughs> Oh my god, I was like, oh no! <laughs> I was like thinking, that's gotta represent for when, um, uh, when Orange Senpai, aka Trump, said uh, that shit about the women that were accusing him. Uh, yeah, let's make America great again. No dude wants his finger in some ugly bitch's ass. You gotta be careful though, because it's about a half inch away between the uh, clam and that asshole so you got to be careful right dude and then the women are starting to walk away and this is what i was just like th this is great i was like as soon as garrison said this i was like damn because the guys are totally hard still hardcore trump otakus they uh, the guys in the audience are fucking trump otakus to the core they just are he, he and he says where are you going are you leaving 
Did I offend you? Where'd I lose you, honey? You've been okay with the fucking everyone to death and the Muslims and Mexicans, but the finger in the ass did it for you? Cool, just wanted to see where your line was. <laughs> oh my god, Garrison! And then he said, poor girl, and then he says, uh, poor girls, did you get your feelings hurt after cheering for fuck all the immigrants? I was like, oh man! <laughs> that turn on Trump. I love it. You, Matt and Trey, you guys are just awesome. And then, um, and then we're getting to the Denmark and the trolltrace.com and donating via so, social media. So I, uh, I was just like, okay, I know where that, I, I kind of have an idea of where that's going. I do. It's, it's, I, I understand where that's going. Okay. And then we have the gathering of the trolls. And I love when, uh, of course, it's at the airport Hilton, too. <laughs> but I love when, um, oh, my God. What's his name? Um, shit. Uh, when Dildo Schwagens says, and um, and we have Skank Hunt 42. I was just like, oh, my God, Skank Hunt 42 is leading the charge. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. And then, um, and then we're going into, uh, what was the next thing? And then we're going to the assembly and with, and PCP, of course, political correctness principle. I still, Matt Trey, why, where is political correctness panda? I still want political correctness panda, formerly known as, um, sexual harass harassment panda, sexual harassment panda, and formerly, and people don't sue, uh, wait a minute. And don't sue people, Panda. I want that political correctness panda to come in at some point. We need political correctness pandas. Anyway, I love, like, in the middle of the speech, <laughs> Butters has his wiener out. <laughs> and and, and, and uh, um, PC principal is like, not now, Mr. Stotts, put it away. And then, and then you got Carmen and Heidi, and they're so cute, like, they're the cutest, I, I, I said it earlier, they're the cutest couple ever, and they're so sweet that everyone's puking. And then Heidi's like, and then Heidi says, come together as a school, and I was like, oh, <laughs> they're so cute, she's, Carmen's got her saying school. Oh my god. And then, oh man, then there's the aftermath. When Chris, when Chris Christie said, we have staked our lives backing you. I was like, yes, yes, I know where this is going. I've been following this election closely. I know where this is going. He's talking, he, Chris Christie got fucked by this election. You, Chris Christie, you got fucked. Everything's coming out now, Chris Christie asshole. That's what you get for backing Orange Senpai and stabbing us in the back. <clears throat> and, um, and then, and then Garrison says, um, I'm sorry, I didn't realize women were racist. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. I couldn't stop laughing. I, that was so great. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. And he was drinking, uh, Sam Adams. I'm wearing a Sam, Sam Adams shirt, by the way. I just re I realized that before I was making this video. I was like, oh, I'm wearing a Sam Adams shirt. Might as well wear it during this video. And um, and he's drinking the Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. And you, you know what happens with Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. And then he goes out. And then Garrison says, to me, and, uh, and Christy's like, you realize you have an angry mob of people outside. He's like, oh, shit. I was, but th the thing that bothered me is like, why isn't Caitlyn Jenner saying anything? Why? Ugh, I want, I really wish Caitlyn Jenner would have said something. She would. Have, she should have been. See, I told you so, or some bullshit. Oh my god. But when Garrison addressed the Trump otakus, that was so fucking great. I gotta read what he said because I got it was it was great. Um, he said, um, I'm taking in the polls because it's fixed. And when I lose, I told him so. I was like, yes! This is so Orange Senpai. This totally is Orange Senpai to the max. 
you guys got, you nailed Orange Senpai, and then the Trump Otaku said, um, aka the mob, they said, that son of a bitch pulled a fast one, get him! I'm like, yes! This is gonna be the Trump Otakus on November 9th. November 9th, the Trump Otakus are, are gonna pull that shit. Just, just watch. But I'm thinking to myself, I'm also thinking to myself, I think this is what Trump, the Trump Otakus would be acting like if they weren't drunk on so much tang right now. But yeah, they're drunk. They're, Trump Otakus in real life are, are just drunk on way too much tang to do common sense shit. <laughs> oh my god. And then, there, so Garrison's running. And then, um, oh, and then when Skink, like, Gerald, Skink Hut 42, Gerald says about trolling, even though he does it for the lols, I, I love what he said, because it is so goddamn true, because the plan is to troll, uh, the, uh, uh, troll Denmark. He said, um, the point of trolling is to push people's buttons so that other people's bu buttons are pushed. And I'm, like, thinking, oh, man. That's what Trump otakus are doing. Trump otakus and Hillbots, too. I'm not going to lie. Hillbots troll the fuck out of people. They do. I, and I'm still waiting. You know what, Matt and Trey? I, I'm waiting for you to do WikiLeaks. You guys are got. You guys got to do WikiLeaks. You guys got to do... You guys got... Oh, my God. You guys got to bring WikiLeaks back. You remember... Uh, oh, no. Lemmy Wings killed WikiLeaks. Damn it! Because I was going to say, we need to get WikiLeaks back! <laughs> but Lummy Winks killed WikiLeaks! Damn it! Because I was going to say, that would have been so epic if we had WikiLeaks right now. Unless WikiLeaks somehow survived. Matt and Trey, if you can make WikiLeaks somehow survive and we have a Lummy Winks episode with WikiLeaks again, something similar, let's do it! Oh! We need a Putin episode! We need Putin! We need Putin. We need Putin to try and manipulate Garrison. Or we need Hillary to just keep blaming Russia for shit. We do! Oh my god! And God, Matt and Trey, please, for the love of God, you gotta make fun of Handy somehow. You really do. If you're gonna keep making fun of Trump otakus, you gotta make fun of Hannity. Because remember, Trump kept bringing up Hannity. You gotta include Hannity at some point. But anyway, that, I'm, I'm done with that shit. Okay, so the, so as I said, the trolls are planning to troll an entire country uh, and troll Dan Denmark. And then we got the plan um, that uh, the fundraiser that um, Cartman and Heidi are doing. Uh, Danish is for Denmark. Just thinking about that, just I just want a Danish stuff. <laughs> Oh my god, so then we have Mr. Garrison, like, they're sitting in class, and Mr. Garrison just all of a sudden runs into the classroom and just starts teaching, and everyone's like, wait a minute, aren't you running for president? And he's like, no, I'm just, te he's like teaching gram grammar and shit, he's like, you can go now to the Asian teacher, and um, I'm like thinking, I know what you guys are doing here, you guys are making fun of, of, of Orange Senpai. Because Orange Senpai thinks he's gonna go, he's gonna go back to his empire after this. Orange Senpai thinks he's gonna do Trump TV after this. That's what you guys are doing. I love it. And, um, oh man, I love Mr. Garrison on the run like an idiot from the Trump otakus. It is so funny. That shit was great. I think that's pro like, just Mr. Garrison in this episode is just my, that's just awesome. I love it. Okay. And then, um, right as the trolling was about to start, I guess some of the trolls' names were hilarious. Like, your mom's tits was on there. <laughs> Oh man, of course Gang Cut 42 is leading the charge, but I just loved your mom's tits was there. Oh man, and Dildo Schwagen's story was so fucking hilarious about um, that um, his mom was a midget and his dad was a giant and his mom thought that. And Daryl was laughing too. I was trying, I was laughing. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> that um, that Dildo Schwagen's mom thought if she fucked a giant, and had, a, and had a kid with a giant that he, she would have a normal kid. 
I was like, oh my god. The show was great. Um, oh, and then, um, and then the orange is running from, uh, um, from Garrison, and he gets goes into the uh, um, member Barry's anonymous. This shit was great. I love this shit. I loved what Garrison said too, and I gotta say it because it was just so fucking perfect. I was thinking to myself, this is what we all want Orange Senpai to say. He said, Garrison said, it's all my fault. I just wanted to get rid of all the immigrants, you know. I thought we could fuck them all to death. And everyone started listening to me. Next thing I know, I get the nomination from the Republicans. It is my fault. I told people I could make the country great again, but I didn't have a plan. I just got caught up in people cheering for me. Being in the media every day, I led this entire election down the shitter. Matt, Trey, you nailed it. That part right there, you nailed it. You nailed it right there. And I love you guys for it. I love you guys so goddamn much right now for that shit. That had to be the best fucking line of the episode. It was right there. That was the best goddamn line. I, as, as much as I love the other shit that he, Garrison said, that actually, I gotta say, that's the line from the se for the season. That's the best line of the season. There, I thought there was other lines that were going to be better, that were better, but no, this is the best line of the fucking season. I, I, I gotta say, because this is totally fucking what we want from Orange Senpai or Trump. <laughs> That's what I call Trump. But anyway, I, I got that, that shit was just, it was brilliant. Matt and Trey, thank you. From this California Republican, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for saying that shit. I really wish you would have done a, Ka a Caitlyn Jenner, um, a Tim Kaine debate. I really wish you did because that shit would have been so fucking epic. But I'll accept this. This was beautiful. This was beautiful. But anyway, oh my god. Then we find out Randy says that it's all the member Barry's fault that, and it's why millions of Americans want Garrison to be president. So, you motherfucking member Barry's, it's your fault that we're gonna get, that um, Trump is in this election. Fuck you, member Barry's. Oh my god. Okay, so now we gotta get to the trolling, what the trolling resulted in, what Skank Hunt 42's le uh, Legion of Trolls led to. And it was Lego tied, Lego was tied to ISIS. I was like, oh, God. Oh, it worked, too. That was, like, the best part. I was just like, oh, God. <laughs> okay. And then I got to say what Randy said, because that shit was great. He said, because this is very true. This is very true about fucking America. This is true about Americans, because Americans are fucking stupid. Yes, I'm an American, and I'm saying this now. Americans are fucking retarded. He said, when a, Randy said this, first he was tying it to Star Wars. He mentioned shit about Star Wars, and I, started, I was like, oh my god. You could have mentioned that shit about Star Trek too, Randy. But um, he said this, when a civilization has become so big, it starts to get lazy, and that's when you get member berries. They're nothing new. They date back all the way to the Roman Empire. Once too many Romans ate the um, member berries, and there, was, there, um, and there was no more growth. Uh, they rested on their laurels, eating, mem eating, remembering nothing but the good stuff. And those were, and Garris is like, aren't those grapes? No, don't, no, take a, cl that's what I thought. Take a closer look. And, then, and they made a cute little noise. It's like, oh, the, the, the member berries are so, the member berries are fucking adorable. I gotta say, they are cute. Um, see, we all want to go back to when we were kids. Simple ideas like a big man to protect us, keep us safe. Instead of, that, okay, before I finish that, the rest of that statement, that is fucking true. This is why Trump otakus want their orange senpai so bad. That's why. That is fucking true. That is true. Thank you, Matt and Trey, for pointing that shit out. And I want to say that's kind of the same shit with Obama, if you think about it. Just saying. 
Okay, now let me get back, finish the rest of the quote. Instead of uh, fresh new Star Wars, we want the old, just recycled and plopped in our tummies. And then, and then it comes to do, it's all J.J. Abrams' fault for this selection. Because <laughs> he's wearing the hat that says, make Star Wars great again. I was like, oh no. But it makes sense why it's J.J. Abrams' fault because of the whole shit with the national anthem. That's why. But, um, and then at the end of the episode, Cartman and, um, Heidi sent a VHS. I was like thinking, VHS? Not a DVD? Whatever. Uh, to, uh, Denmark, and they're gonna help, um, the Danes with the uh the trolls so we'll see what's gonna happen with um with this week's episode of south park with this upcoming episode of south park but this episode by far is my favorite i i, I loved I, I loved member berries i love skank hunt and i love the damned or not skank hunt was okay i love member berries and i love the damned but uh, by far this is my favorite episode, just because of Garrison. What Garrison did, and what ran, what a lot of the shit that Garrison said, and the shit that Randy said, was just so perfect. I loved it. I want to know what you nerd against thought. Was this your favorite episode of the season, based on what um, they were saying? Even though I love the PC pretzel shit from last week, that shit was great. But um, or from a couple weeks ago. But I want to know, did you, was this your favorite episode? Like for me, that's been following the election closely. This is definitely my favorite. I, I love it. I, I love Garrison. The only thing I wish we had a little bit more of, and I think this is why I like member berries a little bit more, is we need more Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> Please give us more Caitlyn Jenner. But other than that, oh my God, like, and, and uh, we need more Hillary Clinton. We need more Hillary. We do. We need a little bit more Hillary, too. I'm not going to lie. I, I want to see more of her bullshit as well. But, and Tim Kaine's bullshit. We need to see their campaign as well. But I think I have an idea why we're not seeing as much Hillary being made fun of. And I, I think it has something to do with the fact that, and because this is why I don't make fun of Hillary as much as, um, as I do with Trump. Or I don't talk as much shit. It's because um, Matt and Trey are are actually, they're actually Republicans, surprisingly. And you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but for me anyway, um, because as a Republican, as a registered Republican, I hold Republicans to a higher standard, especially considering what we had um, in the primary. That's why, like, we already know that Hillary's a piece of shit. Plus, Matt and Trey already did make fun of Hillary. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the fucking Snook. Watch the Snook episode of uh, South Park. They already made fun of Hillary. And they definitely made fun of her with the Snook. So if that is not enough for you, then sorry. She, he, they definitely got her with the Snook. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this episode. And is I want to know, if, is this your episode your favorite? I love the Garrison episodes. I'm loving this shit. I especially love when the orange shit is rough as running down Garrison. And I love Garrison's dialogue. I definitely do. But anyway, remember, and I want to know, do you love the member berry twist? I love how member berries, and I love how J.J. Abrams is, which all started at the beginning, is tying into this. I love it. You guys are fucking geniuses over there. Um... Only complaints is, we need more Caitlyn Jenner, goddammit. Bring more Caitlyn Jenner, because it's Garrison Jenner 2016, damn it. Anyway, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Inc. And if you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdigan Inc. expansion, there's a couple ways you can do it. You could donate to the Nerdigan Inc. Patreon or purchase something off the Nerdigan Inc. Amazon wishlist. Both links are in the description box below. Also, um, make sure you follow me on Twits, aka Twitter. Um... Follow me on Twitch and follow me or friend me on PlayStation Network. Everything's in the description box below. And until next time, my fellow Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.